Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I'm back with another video. And today, I want to bring you guys some He-Man news that actually dropped about a week ago, uh, but I was a little too sick uh, under the weather during the whole Christmas break uh, for me to be able to bring this news to you. Um, but I wanted to talk about the fact that we're going to have two He-Man cartoons come next year. That's right, two He-Man cartoons. Got a lot to talk about, so sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's transform and roll out. Okay, so bringing you this news, it says that He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Netflix and Mattel, return, for, uh, return to Grayskull for a CG series. Now, we already know that Kevin Smith is producing a brand new uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation cartoon, and that's supposed to take place after the original series. So we're getting a sequel to the original. We're not getting necessarily a continuation of the 2002 He-Man, but we're getting is a brand new He-Man cartoon that is gonna be CG animated. And according to what this says is that, yeah, that the 2D anime series, it's not anime, come on now. It's, it's not anime, it's produced in America. Uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation, but from filmmaker Kevin Smith. Um, but the animation style is supposed to look like Troll Hunters, um, which is gonna look something like this. Um, and that is going to be the style of animation that they're going to do with this brand new He-Man cartoon. And this is the new poster. It is a stylized take with the, it looks like the power sword. They're going with the original toy where the two swords could separate and become, you know, two blades. Basically you would get He-Man sword and Skeletor sword and you would merge them together to form the power sword. Uh, or if you took Prince Adam's sword along with uh, He-Man's sword, it would produce, you know, a different type of sword that way, however you want to do it. And I think that that's what they're going to do with this. It's also interesting because if you guys remember the 2002 He-Man cartoon, that toy line had a Skeletor toy that came with a sword that separated into two, and that's what this sword looks like. I'm really curious what the emblem on here is going to look like. If they're going to, you know, keep that Germanic cross, uh, or if they're going to, I think it's Germanic, right? Um, or if they're just going to make this like stylized red circular pattern, it, that's what it kind of looks like. It doesn't look like the classic He-Man symbol. But then again, that's what they've gone with anyway with these Netflix produced series. You know, I have not seen She-Ra and I've only seen like clips of it. And from what I saw, I didn't care for. Um, and especially after having a conversation with Melanie Britt, who was the voice of the original She-Ra, didn't really care for that new She-Ra cartoon at all. She didn't, and we, you know, <laughs> both had a you know ni nice, you know, conversation with one another. And I kind of look forward to this He-Man cartoon just because it'll help introduce it to newer audiences. But I'm more looking forward to the new cartoon with Kevin Smith producing because it's a continuation of the original, and they want to respect the original, and that is something that is you know, a good thing. I, I am a firm believer that you should definitely, you know, keep in tune with your with your fan base. But just going by who is producing the cartoon, it does look promising. Um, it says like, like the, the Adam Bonnet and Christopher Keenan and Ron David are going to be executive producers. Jeff Matsuda, who made the Batman and TMNT. I think that that's the, the, the uh, animated cart, you know, the animated cartoon movie, which was like, basically Ninja Turtles 4. Um, and the same producer from Voltron are going to be producing it. Uh, and Brian Q. Miller, who um, who wrote, I guess he's basically the story editor for, for Arrow, for Smallville. So basically it's going to you know, feel like a CW show <laughs> with you know that very CG animation. Um, Fred Soli... I'm sorry, my voice is like really cutting out. I'm, I, this this cold has gotten gotten <laughs> has been a really tough thing to to go past. But anyway, um, it looks like they're going to bring in Extender, which is not a, a well known uh, Masters Universe character. Neither is Gwildor, which is not Gwilor, uh, Battle Cat, and Roboto. Roboto would be cool. Uh, Man at Arms, obviously awesome. Battle Cat, but Gwildor from the 1987 you know Dolph Lundgren film. You know, character was just created for that. And Extendar is supposed to be 
a if i remember his origin story correctly it from his toy was that he was like made by the horde but he ended up turning good i could be wrong i'm not i don't remember his his, uh his character very much because he wasn't in any of the cartoons or anything um but you know those these seem to be like the characters they want to to bring in uh it says they want to reimagine the classic characters in a way that appeals to kids and families today while also resonating with fans who grew up with them so i hope that they do you know respect the original while while at the same time making it relevant for you know kids of today which is something that the 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 Voltron Legendary Defender cartoon did a really good job of it it respected the original while uh you know bringing it for fans of today and i i really enjoyed that Voltron cartoon with the exception of the fact that like you know it seems sometimes that they never turned into Voltron uh until like four or five like every four or five episodes that it would be like four or five episodes before um you know voltron would form and you're sitting there waiting like when when are they going to do it and they never ever said form feet and legs form arms and body and i'll form the head i was like really disappointed that they did not do that but they did do the whole um you know uh you know do interlock uh, what was it um Dino Therms connected that that whole like line there, but they didn't do the you know let's go Voltron Force. I I wanted to hear that out of the cartoon. As corny as it sounds, those are kind of things that resonate with you know it's kind of like Optimus Prime saying let's transform and roll out, or you know He Man has to say by the power of Gray Skull and I have the power. You know if he doesn't say that in this new cartoon. Uh, it's it, you know might as well throw it by the by the wayside and i'm sure kevin smith is going to do that with revelation make sure that the cartoon at least you know follows suit with you know the original show and you know put, pays proper respect to that whereas this show is going to be a reimagining and we're hoping that it's good that it can resonate with new fans but it doesn't annoy older fans to the point where we go mm, don't want that you know there has to be a balance and a balance is something that you know keeps older fans attached to the series while you know at the same time attracting newer and younger fans that is something that transformers has tried to do and every single time that they feel like they they've messed up somewhere they just hit the reset button so many times i mean the transformers franchise you think about how many reboots that's been through he-man has not been through that many reboots he-man has the original show a 2002 show and then a you know a she-ra spinoff that is not even connected to any bit of he-man what's at all whatsoever and now you have revelation it's going to be a continuation and you have you know this new cartoon that is going to be a reimagining maybe it might connect to the new she-ra you don't know but I know a lot of people who are not fans, who are who are fans of the original She-Ra, like girls who grew up with the original She-Ra are, who now are like, I don't like the new show and I don't even want my kids watching it. And it's like, you know, you, you know you're going to sit there and say like, oh, to me, like I can't gatekeep. And it's like, no, I'm not the one who's gatekeeping. I'm just looking at it from the perspective of fans of the original are going to look at the, you know, should be able to look at the new show and go, this is a cre- really cool, you know, update to the original and that is something that I mean, Transformers fans, you know, have tried to do with all of the different reboots from the Unicron trilogy to animated to Prime and and uh, and now Cyberverse. You know, looking at something like He Man, can this reboot do really well? It can, and I'm hoping that it's good. But I, as always, I am cautiously optimistic. But I wonder what you guys think. What do you think about this news about the new He-Man cartoon? Do you think that this cartoon is going to be really good? Or do you think that this is not going to pay the proper respect that it should to the original show? And it's just going to be like She-Ra where it seems like everything that was important in the original She-Ra is thrown out the window. Uh, You know... What do you, you know, leave your course, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. You know, of course, like this video and subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. I've got more videos coming down the pipeline. I may do a Star Wars uh, Rise of Skywalker uh, talk about the whole entire Skywalker saga in the future. And I'm also going to do more Godzilla reviews so you can see more of that. And if any news like this comes down the pipeline for Geeky Condit, you can, you can expect to see more of that. So as always, guys. Until next time, till all are one.